part we we have the equation y equals to x squared sine x all over cos 2x now uh, in this section uh, remember we have three variables we have x squared is a variable sine x is a variable then cos 2x is a variable now the method we've been using to to differentiate functions for example product rule quotient rule chain rule chain rule we have been dealing with the uh, two variables and some it has been if y equals to uh, to u v these are two variables only or if y equals to uh, to u over v so we've we'll been using the product rule quotient rule a uh, chain rule for us uh, to get the function when we have two uh, when we have two variables but here you can see we have three variables this is uh, for example y equals to v v u over v over or whatever we do like that so we have more than two variables so in as usual we have more than two variables like this one we apply what we are calling the logarithmic differentiation now we want to want to 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 use this example to illustrate on how we can be able to uh, to apply the logarithmic differentiation so once you have an equation like this then you take logs natural logs of the equation on both sides so um solution so from this equation we, we take logs on both sides so we shall have here ln ln of y will be equal to ln of x squared then when we are multiplying logs we add so we have x times sine x so it will be plus uh, ln ln of sine sine x when we dividing logs we subtract so minus ln of cos cos 2x like that so then we differentiate it through so when we differentiate ln of y we shall be able to get 1 all over y 1 over y, um, then you do y, do y dx, 1 over y, do y dx, remember we are, we are getting the derivative with respect to x, this would be equal to, this would be 1 over x squared, then we differentiate x squared into dot, dot, uh, dot 2x, then plus when you differentiate ln of sine x you get one all over sine one all over sine x then when you differentiate sine x um we shall be able to get dot cos you differentiate sine x you get um, uh, cos x then minus uh when you differentiate cos uh cos 2x because we shall have 1 all over cos cos 2x then dot minus 2 uh, sine sine 2x sine 2x like that so this equation becomes um, this equation becomes uh, let me write up here so we shall have 1 all over y dy dx equals two so we have this x and this x will cancel so that we remain with two of x we have two of x then cos x over sine x uh, cos x over sine x is the same as cot x this is the inverse of the term so it will be plus plus cot cot x then this minus and minus be plus but sine 2 sine 2x two over cos 2x so plus sine over cosine is tan so here we have plus tan 2 to have 2 2 tan 2 tan 2x so i remember the equation wanted us to get the value of the y dx so we divide it through by by y for us to remain with the y dx the y dx so 
So we divide it all by by y. So uh, we can have y dx will be equal to um, we divide it all by um, we multiply through by by y. So this equals to but what is the value of y? So the value of y is this one. So we multiply through by x squared sine x over cos squared. So, so we can have x squared, x squared sine sine x over over cos cos 2x into into uh, 2 over x plus cot cot x plus 2 times 2x times 2x that is it, dy dx equals to 2x over x squared sine x over cos 2x into 2 over x plus cot x plus 2 times 2x. Thank you.